Hello, welcome back again. We've now installed the Apocalypse from Video Logic, the 3DX card. Uh, this is a, a separate card to the uh, built-in video card. The built-in video card is a 2 meg from Cirrus Logic. It's not Cirrus Logic from uh, Cirrus GX. The Cirrus GX is the actual main processor inside this computer. So the Cirrus GX is the 2 meg card sharing from the main memory. And then our 3D part of it is courtesy of the PowerVR card. Um, one unique feature of this card, unlike the, for example, Voodoo 2 card, is it doesn't require a VG pa VGA pass-through cable. If you had a Voodoo card, for example, you would have your original video card, the output of that would input into the Voodoo 2 card, and then the output of the Voodoo 2 card would output to your monitor. In the case of this card, your existing slot is all, is, is all that's needed. So you just basically plug into your existing video card and put the add-in 3D card into the computer. So let's run the tests uh, we ran before. Um, <clears throat> I have to admit this is not my first time doing this. Um, it's crashed a few times that I've done this. I reckon it was a driver issue. But um, I'm going to find out now in a second if it doesn't run the 3D whether it was a driver issue or not. Um, so first of all this is not, not using the 3D card. This is using software rendering. Which basically means it's using the processor itself to create this 3D image that you see. So in other words using a 2D technique a 3D image. So if you hadn't got 3D hardware, that space is as good as you're going to get, you know. Now it's going to use the hardware rendering. Now that's hardware rendering. That's the power of your video card now. Hardware rendering 3DX. Direct X, which is it. Now, you did see a spinning kill. So it did work that time. So it must have been a driver issue. Well, we'll see. Now let's run the tunnel demo, which is what we ran the last time as well. As you can see, it's running like a 486 would run if it was running Windows 98. Very slow. Okay. I'm not there getting triangles. I don't know why. Triangles in a tunnel. I don't have a triangle anyway. Why not? Hmm. Right, tunnel. Tunnel it is. Good to go, good to go. Here we go, tunnel. And that's running a little bit quicker. So basically what we have is we have a 3D card sitting on the uh, bus of the 486 motherboard, as it were. So, we'll go full screen with this baby and see what happens. Close down these windows. See if it'll let me multitask. Okay. There it goes. And there we have it. So basically it's a 486 running um, the power of the R car. Okay, it's a 486 clocked at 133 megahertz, but you can say the same thing about the AM three eighty, the AM four eight six, uh, AM, AM sorry AM five eight six uh, one three three. So this is the Cirrus's version of it, I suppose. So they here is three D running. Can't argue with that now. That's thirty two point four six frames per second. <coughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to run. Um, the uh, Unreal game. See how it works. I don't know whether I have to do anything special to make this work with this video card now, to be honest with you, but. Um We'll soon find out. Mm -hmm. 
of the things I actually liked about Unreal was the soundtrack to Always Fight Back. Good God's taking us time, isn't it? Do 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 <laughs> Ah! I see that the uh Resolution has increased. I haven't done anything, it's just done it automatically. So 512 by Hmm. <laughs> I I still don't think it's playable though. <coughs> Maybe we can lower the resolution. Let's see if we can do that. Right, treat value a bit too far. I think that's what we had it set to uh, by default when we last ran it. I'm not sure though, I think it was that. Yeah, 320 by 240, that looks kind of familiar. I'm trying to make a fair comparison between the, the three me methods anyway. It's, it wouldn't be fair not to. Let's try that. Hard drive is running quite a bit, that's another thing I'm noticing. Problem here may be lack of RAM more than anything else. Let's try to run the game, see what happens. Hmm, well, one thing's for certain, you wouldn't want to be relying on this computer to, you know, do any folding, I suppose, you know? Um, one side note, um, I did actually have a couple of Surge chips in various machines over the years, but um, I was never very impressed with their actual speed. Um, the Intel and the AMD, AMD was a direct copy 
of the AMD of the Intel architecture. Uh, one of the reasons how this was possible was because of the fact that uh, AMD used to build the chips for Intel, whereas Surix was what's known as a clean room processor. So um, I can explain it to you in another video if you like how that actually works. It's very simple. But uh, first of all, let's um, see how this plays here. Um, I haven't got the sound because I haven't figured it out. Oh, I forgot it's these keys here, I think, isn't it? Yeah. You know, this game might just be playable if I could. Um, it might just be playable if I could uh, put more RAM into it. I think the problem here, I think our problem here really is the lack of RAM. Anyway, that gives you an idea of. 486 running this technology. Whoop, I'm falling off. <laughs> it's a bit uh, it's a bit choppy and jumpy. But you know what I mean 3D can be rendered with the right hardware. Um apparently a video card that can render the, the 3D, I don't know about in this game, is a, a video card uh, belongs to um Oh, what's it? Creative Labs. Uh, I think it's called the 3D Blaster uh, VLB. Um, now this computer isn't a VLB bus, it's a, a PCI bus. But um, yeah, you could probably put that into it. And uh, that might give you improvements on the 3D. But again, I think there was, speci uh, was specific games designed specifically for uh, the video card <clears throat> to make it, you know, to make it run the 3D. I don't think you can just run any old 3D game on <coughs> Anyway. Hope you enjoyed these uh, three quick videos um, and bring you through sort of memory lane of these computers. If you have any suggestions, any requests, or anything you'd like me to try with this machine, uh, please do let me know. I do have a, a good range of video cards, so you know, suggest something or suggest well, some way I can improve it. Probably the simplest way to improve it, make it a little bit better, is probably take the RAM out of it and increase it to 64 megabytes. Um, I reckon if we've done that, we may just have. The speed advantage we're looking for. Um, then again, we might not. It's still a 486 base machine with a, you know, it's like like having a, a big boxy ladder slash Fiat and putting a Porsche boxer engine into it. It's really not going to go any go very fast because of the fact that the aerodynamics are going to stop it from going as fast as a Porsche would with its aerodynamical capability. So it's the same thing. Great engine, but in a bad situation. Okay, I'll. Uh, Say au revoir.